Hey guys, Delta here, and welcome to the 13th episode of my Killzone Shadowfall Weapon Guide. In this episode, we're covering the Stoff 409 Kaiser, the primary assault rifle of the Hellgast, and successor to the Stoff 52. The Stoff 409 Kaiser, originally designated the Stoff 55, is the latest version of the Stoff 52 assault rifle seen in earlier Killzone games. It can be equipped by the Assault class in multiplayer. Like the Stoff 52, the Kaiser stays true to traditional Hellgas weaponry, with an emphasis on volume of fire rather than accuracy. That said, this improved version is of a much higher build quality, putting it closer to being on par with the VSA's M55 Rumbler. In terms of damage output, it is equal to both the Rumbler as well as most weapons in the game, killing in four hits to the body or with one headshot. Its effective range is slightly less than that of the M55, though still above average. The most notable difference is in the recoil of the weapon. The Sta 409 has a strong vertical kick that will pull you off target if you fire fully automatically. This can be corrected by firing in bursts, or counter and recoil by pulling your aim down as you fire. The Kaiser also outputs a slightly higher 560 rounds per minute, draining its 30 round magazine rapidly. The reload time on the Kaiser has been improved from the Stoff 52 model, but still takes slightly longer than average at 3 seconds for the animation to complete. The Stoff 409 has the usual selection of primary and secondary attachments to choose from, beginning with the default dot sight. These are the equivalent to iron sights and provide a clear viewpoint with a small aiming dot, but no statistical bonus. The first optical attachment unlocked is the hollow sight, the standard Hellgast holographic sight that provides a larger field of view and diamond shaped reticle, in addition to a slight magnification of 1.2 times. The hollow sight is unlocked by completing one challenge, killing 10 enemies with the Kaiser while zoomed. Second is the ACOG sight, a larger optic designed for use at longer ranges. It provides a higher magnification at 1.6 times, helping to increase the accuracy and effectiveness of the Stoff 409 at longer distances. The major drawback is its bulkier frame that eliminates some of your peripheral vision, making it easier to lose track of an enemy. This attachment is unlocked by completing two challenges, killing 25 enemies while zoomed with the hollow sight, and scoring a headshot kill on one enemy while zoomed with the hollow sight. The Kaiser also has two unlockable underslung attachments to choose from. When neither is equipped, the Stoff 409 will have a vertical foregrip that provides no statistical bonus. The first attachment is the shotgun, a master key attachment that packs a punch in close quarters. It has a limited capacity of three shells, and when combined with its limited range, prevents the attachment from being overpowered. The shotgun is unlocked by completing three challenges, killing 50 enemies with the Kaiser, stunning 50 enemies with the Stun Blast ability, and killing 50 enemies with the LS-36 Breacher. The next attachment and final overall is the HE Grenade, a standard underbarrel grenade launcher. Grenades explode on impact and deal both direct and splash damage, making it a bad idea to use in close range. The crosshair will show the distance from your target, making it easier to line up the arc for your shot. This attachment is unlocked by completing four challenges, killing 75 enemies with the Stoff 409, killing 10 enemies through your nano shield with the Stoff 409, and killing 10 enemies with both the Limpet and M194 frag grenades. The Stoff 409 is a much more rounded weapon than previous incarnations, but it has an advantage in close quarters over other assault rifles due to its higher rate of fire. Thanks to this, we're going to design a class to excel in mid to close range combat. Beginning with your primary attachment, I will recommend the Dot Laser. It's precise and the least bulky of all your options, all but totally eliminating the risk of losing an enemy in your peripheral vision. For a secondary attachment, run with the Shotgun. This helps pack an added punch in close quarters that can be used to surprise enemies as you weave in and out of tight corridors. There is no reason not to select the LS-12 Ripper as your sidearm, as it outclasses the Sta-19 Rainer in every way. Equip the burst attachment to increase the rate of fire and improve your chances in a gunfight. For an explosive, I recommend the M194 Frag Grenade. The Limpet offers added precision, but it lacks the blast radius and cannot be cooked. The M194 offers a much better all around package. Finally, offset your primary nano shield ability with the Stun Blast. This is useful for flanking enemies and slowing them down, making it easier to pick them off one by one with the Kaiser or its underbarrel master key. The Sta 409 Kaiser is an excellent all-around assault rifle, with a bit of a tilt towards fast-paced, close-quarters excellence. It matches up against the VSA's primary assault rifle much better than its previous incarnation, with many players actually preferring the Kaiser to the M55 Rumbler. 
take the time to learn the intricacies of this gun, and you'll dominate the war zone in no time. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of my Killzone Shadowfall Weapon Guide. In our next episode, we're covering the LSR-44 Spore, a powerful and unique hybrid of submachine gun and sniper rifle that is sure to knock your socks off. Until then, I'll see you next time.